Hello, this is GeoTechLand, and today I'll be playing Red Dead Redemption on the RPCS3 emulator. I'll be using the usual version 0 .0 0 0.0.5 7123. Now, this video is actually going to be pretty brief because I was testing it out and I really couldn't make it past um, one of the scenes there, so I'll show you guys exactly where but yeah and I'll get into a little bit more about that but before of course let me show you the settings I'm using and for the most part I use the default settings except using Vulkan the Vulkan API um, obviously the system from to English or from Japanese to English uh, and then on here the I'm using the performance overlay which is very neat this is something that's been here already for a while I just haven't really taken advantage of it all right so let's get started here and just to guys give you a, an idea there hasn't been really any noticeable improvements from the last video I did on this game a month ago I believe and it keeps getting frozen um, after the first clip where I'm walking to the to the bar like it just really does not let me get past it so I really can't show you um, that much footage here and so I guess overall you could argue uh, I don't want to say that the emulator itself has regressed could just be AMD's uh, latest drivers which I think I'm using like 18.7.1 but just overall from the last video I feel like it's a worse performance here um, on Windows 10 I don't really try I try not to change too much you know obviously I could probably make it my OS a little bit faster if I messed around with some settings but um, but I try to leave most things as default the only thing I really change is make sure I, I set this to performance and just as an FYI, I think this already got it already. Yeah, there's already aired out here. So wow, this one's been a bit, uh, or this has been a bit more buggier of an experience here. But you can see the emulator in action. But yeah, that's the state as it has been here. I guess this is more not just a, an update on this game, but an update on the emulator itself. You know, with the neat. Uh, FPS calculator here or performance overlay and it does use a lot of CPU I mean I guess it technically should be at 99% but it does get close to utilizing fully utilizing the CPU of course this gets 30 FPS because it's just the intro scenes Oh, and a side note, Windows 10, this is a fresh install of Windows 10. And for whatever reason, I can't get the Bluetooth to work anymore. So I'm actually playing this on a on my keyboard rather than the PS4 controller. But the good thing is, these games don't get me very far anyway. So I don't have to worry too much about it. And I think I could still use it if I connect it to a USB or via USB or via wired but alright so this little scene I've been getting stuck here just as I'm walking so I'll probably I'll probably end the video whenever I get stuck just to get make sure you guys get a good idea of this game's performance here so again, visually it still looks pretty much the same. The same weird glitches, very subtle glitches that you don't really notice. But yeah, this going to the bar, I haven't been able to make it to that X again. That's been the experience for me so far. And it, and it would get stuck around here before, it's just not to this degree. Maybe the first video I made, it wouldn't let me get past it. 
All right, and there you go, it got frozen. So that's been my experience here so far. Again, you'll probably get a completely different experience on an NVIDIA GPU. So just keep that in mind that I'm, I'm using AMD here and its driver. So, you know, if you want to see just how good this game can perform, yeah, there's probably NVIDIA videos um, about this game. And eventually I do want to get an NVIDIA GPU just so I can have two GPUs to test. But that's probably going to be a long way from now. But other than that, guys, I just wanted to give you this quick preview or, uh, I guess, showcase here of how this is performing after a month from my last video. If you found the video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.